Hi guys, it's Bryce from Righteous Reptiles. Today I'm here with Kelly, my Hi. cousin, and um, I'm gonna help her get over a fear of snakes. <laughs> no, you're yes, not. we are. No, cool. you're not. <laughs> That's too big. <laughs> no, it's not your hand over. First, what we want to do is not like force it in their faces or trying to freak them out with it. Just show them that they're pretty calm animals. And I like bringing out ball pythons just because um, I can tell them like a story of they're called ball pythons because when they're afraid they tend to roll up in a ball instead of biting you and my snakes have never ever bitten me and I've had them for four years so little things like that help them and you just let them stroke it and see that it's actually not that bad come on you can do more <laughs> and just take baby steps with them as well because and show them like they're totally calm animals um, and also try to get your smallest ball python if you can out and um, start with small and gradually grow up. Because everyone has lots of ball pythons, hey? Well, lots of people just, do. Just lying around the house, hey, Bryce? Not know. lying around the house, I mean, though. slithering, sorry. No, they generally in enclosures, don't worry. So, and also tell them like about the morph stories about the different genes and stuff like that because the more people learn about the snakes the less they are afraid of them because the more knowledge shows that they don't have to be afraid so this girl is a female she's about a year old and she's called a bumblebee so um, she's still a ball python they get different morphs like you know you get albino or albinos yeah, yeah. so this is a pastel mixed with a spider so different morphs like you get the albinos yeah. when you mix the different colors together you get different colors and patterns so you can see the spider morph has like this pattern in here and then see like yeah. a, I'll take out a normal just now to show you and the pastel gives the yellowish colors so do you want to try hold? Mm. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Just try. I promise it won't bite. I'll just check. It's okay. Just put your hand out like this. You can do uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not that bad. <laughs> and have you ever held a snake before? <laughs> In grade six. Yeah. And it was like this big. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't a worm? <laughs> See, it's not that bad. <laughs> was that scary? Yes. Why was it scary? <laughs> because I have a phobia of snakes. But why do you have a phobia? Because they're scary. Why are they scary? Because <laughs> they're going to eat your face. But they won't. They can't even swallow you or... These guys won't even try and bite you. See, like, you can stroke her head. She's totally chilled with it. Except when she eats your fingers. No, she'll never do that. They're not silly animals. They know that they can't eat you. And they're not going to try. And they know that you're not a threat. So just take... See, she just moved. Yes, because you're taking... Um, you're making fast movements. So oh. go slower. Take it, take it nice and easy. There you go. Well done. They don't generally like being touched on the head, obviously, as you guys know, but it just helps people see that they don't actually bite. Do you want to try hold again or put it around your neck? No! <laughs> okay. So now we'll get out another snake and we'll see how that goes. Bye! Hey, you're... Okay, that's too big. No, no, no. It's okay. They, they're totally fine. Okay, so now I have Stripe, my male Mojave, that didn't want to breed for me this year. And why don't you like touching or holding snakes? Because it's, it's like, gonna, I can't hit it then. It's, why would you want to hit it? Because it would bite me and it just, no. 
But they don't just go and bite everyone. And they don't chase people or go after them. And also just try and keep their head away and do slow movement so the snakes don't get a fright which tends to freak out the person you're trying to t let them touch. Get touched. So see, he's totally cool. You want to try holding him? No. He's not going to do anything. Should Should I put him around my neck to show you? Yes. yes. And then I can get the bigger ones as well. See, I can touch him on the nose. He's fine. He's just smelling everything or tasting the air with his... Oh, those holes. Box. Those holes are heat pits. So he oh. senses his prey and he knows that you are not prey because you're way too big and you have a different smell to a rodent. You want to try hold him? You can do it, okay. Kelly. Okay. You don't have to close your eyes. He's not going to do anything. I'll keep his head this side. So what does it feel like holding him? Besides scary, if it is scary for you. <laughs> you can hold his head. I'll just hold his behind. <laughs> keep his head. <laughs> Is he shedding? Or um, no, he's not shedding. And this guy, he's actually a different morph, as you can see, to yeah. the other one. He's a Mojave. So if you breed one of these to a female like this, you get a 25% chance of hitting a plain white snake, which is pretty cool. Whoa, do you have a plain white snake? No, I wish. He's a nice bangle. Yeah, Cleopatra actually used these as bangles because they were so pretty. Alive ones? Yes. How did they stay on? They just tend to wrap around. I can show you no, like no, how no, they... Fine, it just gets tighter and tighter. Yeah, but they're not trying to constrict you. And these guys aren't venomous, obviously. And did you know there's no such thing as... Well, there is actually a poisonous snake, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I think there's a, quite a, there's probably about seven, I'm not exactly sure, but you do get poisonous snakes. But most snakes, when they bite you, they're venomous, they're not poisonous. Poisonous is when you touch or eat them, and venom is injected into your bloodstream more. So, are there snakes that you can touch and get? Um, I don't think touch, but I think if you eat them, okay. which I wouldn't recommend yeah. for any snake. So now we'll try with a little bit bigger, <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. Just, just try no ways. Uh, not gonna happen. No. <laughs> no. Okay. So I stepped it up to Lady, my largest ball python, and she's got some stuck shed. We'll help her with that just now. You will help her. Yeah, I will help <laughs> her. But as you can she see, she's actually nicer to hold than the little ones because. She tends to chill out more, but not today, I guess. Don't worry, she's not going to do anything. Sorry. So she's a normal, the wild type, so you would find these guys in the wild. So she's this not the, tame? No, no, no. This is the, the wild colour. Oh, okay. So the oh, colour okay. that you would okay. find in the wild. You know I'll, hold her, I'll hold her tail. Well done. Get another brangle. So, are you as scared as you were before already? Or is it kind of better? Not as much, but it's still... It's still scary, but you're getting used to it now. Do you want to no, no, take it's fine, it's fine. Just gentle movements, because they can still hurt their backs when you twist them. So wait, how do these people, or, or these snakes, kill their prey? So they constrict, so they oh. strike at this... Um, prey and then they wrap it wrap over it and squeeze the life out of it or so the animal can't breathe and then swallow it whole. Okay. And what's the biggest these snakes get? Generally a medium rat, but that she can take a large rat. Would you like to try hold all of her? I'll keep the head. If you hold the head like this? No. I'll just hold it like this. Well Will she done. constrict me? No, never. When last did she eat? Um, 
actually I think last week Thursday doesn't she need to eat every day no they only need to eat about once a week which is actually a good feed um, you How can, long can feed they them go for without well food? before she's actually gone without food for nine months so they can last pretty Why? long Why? where was she that she well she was eating? with me um, well she was actually with the previous owner and then I took her on kind of like a rescue and try to get her back on feed but but why weren't they feeding her? well just little things like the rat jumping on her head and that spooks them out and then they don't eat or oh, it's okay. breeding season and they never get back up to wanting to eat because they tend to go off feed when they breeding she's big how long is she I'm not sure I think she's just over 1.2 meters So she's your biggest snake? Yes, she is. You're doing so well. Done. So do you want to try hold her? Like with the head and everything? Not yet, okay. I'll just hold the side. Gentle and you turn her. Because she's also expect... Um, I'm expecting her to have eggs, so when? Got to, um, I haven't seen the ovulation yet, which is they kind of go big in the area where the eggs are, and um, then in a few days after that you expect eggs, but I haven't seen that yet. But I have palpated her, which is like feeling for eggs, and I can feel that, so I'm not sure how much longer. So is she venomous at the moment? No, they, if they, um, they can't be venomous if they constrictors. So constrictors. Oh, okay. So they're pythons. So they squeeze the air out of the, their prey. So they she, don't have any venom or anything like that. So she tried to eat my face right now. No, she didn't. Know. Yeah, but she wouldn't try and eat your face. If she does strike at you, it's a defense strike, not trying to eat you. And see how she's flickering her tongue like that is. She's tasting the air, just getting a sense of her surroundings. And if you hear that noise the whole time, that's Benny, my dog, busy sleeping down, right down there. He's fast asleep, so don't worry about him coming near the snakes. Well done. I think you can hold it by yourself. It's okay. She, she just moved back because she got a fright. See, they, they're actually more scared of you than you are scared of them. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Come. I'll hold her with you. Put your hand under here. Under here. Come on. Come on. Well done. Did she just go? Yes. She hissed because she didn't like what I did there. I just... No, it's fine. She doesn't like being moved around. She's the grumpy one, but she never bites or anything. Well, she she just shows it in vocal expressions. Okay. And strangulation of hands. No, she's not strangling you. <laughs> she's just actually afraid. That's why she's wrapping around you, because she doesn't want to fall. Okay. I think I can hold the small one. Okay. I think we'll try now. She doesn't want to let go. Cool, I'll put her sure. back. Is this the baby one? Yeah. Oh. Well done. And this is big progress already. And how do you feel holding the snake all by yourself? <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> Don't worry, there's nothing she can do to you. And if it is a bite, which they will, won't do, um, it's just like a little scra scratch. It's actually very tiny. Will it hurt? No, not at all, actually. You get more of a fright than you do the pain. Well done. So guys, I hope this video has helped you. Kelly's already holding a snake by herself now. And she's a lot better. So I hope <laughs> you guys, ho hope this helped you. And thanks for watching. Bryce from Rice and Shreptiles. Bye. Oh, I'm never gonna agree to do things with you ever again. What?